So guys, I got something new to show you here. Um, it's a 2021, well, that says Dodge. But actually, it's the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee 80th Anniversary Edition. I uh, just picked this up on Monday, it is Friday, had it five days, got a couple hundred miles on it. It's got the adaptive cruise control down there. It has the gunmetal badging, or if you have like the altitude package, it's all blacked out. With the gunmetal badging, gunmetal grill inserts, the gunmetal wheels, the mirrors are even gunmetal. So we picked it up at Feeney Chrysler Dodge Jeep in Midland. Got the factory tow package. So this has the luxury group. It's the uh, the anniversary luxury group has the panoramic sunroof. It has vented as well as heated front seats. In the rear, you can see our kids have already put our feet up there. It has heated seats as well in the rear, which the standard anniversary doesn't have heated seats in the rear. There's a 110 outlet plus two USBs. The luxury also has premium sound. There's a shot of that roof. So it has the premium sound, so it has the subwoofer in the back. I think it's nine speakers total. A full size spare. Some storage on each side over here. Just button close it. I think it can tow 6,500 pounds with the factory tow package. Just the 3.6 liter V6. The Hemi doesn't come in the anniversary. Shut some doors here. So 200 miles, uh, 208 miles. Getting about 17 and a half average. I'll show you some of the apps here. See, we have heated steering wheel, vented seats, heated seats on passenger and driver. You can hit your backup camera while you're driving. It has CarPlay. Uh, we have trial of the Uconnect right now so it gives us like this travel link we can see the weather it shows us a weather map you can get traffic which here there's nothing We have sports. Let's go back to the apps here. Oh, it has the off road package, which is the good thing about this, we'll never take this off road. But if you're a type of person that likes to monitor your gauges, you can track your coolant temp, oil temp, battery voltage. Trans temp and oil pressure, but it also has like your, your pitch and roll, vehicle dynamics, it'll show you your steering wheel angle, and your transfer case, and 
you can select your train. And right now it's an auto, we're at 625 feet altitude and GPS coordinates, but you can... And then down here, we have where we can go to like sand mode, snow, mud, and rock. And rock you gotta hit four low. It says to complete four wheel drive shift, put transmission in neutral. So now we're in four low and rock mode. And then it shows a little Jeep on there in the rocks. Now we are sand, snow, mud, and I already showed you rock. And we are back in auto. It shows you up here that your heated seat is on, the driver's side is on, and the wheel. And then if you turn that on, it pops up over there as well. You can control your climate, co climate control up there. It does have the factory nav, but Apple CarPlay is probably better. Now up here we have, oh, let me see if I can get that to focus in there. There we go. This will open and close the shade for the panoramic roof. Then you can just vent and open the sunroof enough to vent where you can open it. And these you can program garage door openers, which I need to do that still. You also have a 12 volt plug down there, two USBs and auxiliary, and a 12 volt in the center club box. Let's go on the road. Right now I'm heading to the dealer. I have to get that door sill replaced and uh, they're gonna swap it out with a Jeep one. I asked them if I can keep that Dodge one just so I could have it. It's a, a fun little story that we had and bought this and it said Dodge instead of Jeep. Now the passenger side is right but they said that the Durangos and the Grand Cherokees are made on the same line so it just happens sometimes. Rides great, the adaptive cruise control I love. It's my first vehicle I've had with adaptive cruise control. You can pretty much drive down the highway and never touch the brake or gas. Set your speed. And it gets, it's got some power. All right, I'm gonna end this video here, drive to the dealer. I'll take it home and put it up on the lift later and show you what it looks like underneath. The uh, tow package has an auto level ride so I just want to see what that's about I haven't looked at it yet myself so I'll be back in a few here's a shot underneath nothing special got a small little oil sump plastic transmission pan uh, looks like dual mufflers This differential is tiny for independent rear. Well, the tow package just had like a load leveling sensor or something, or automatic ride control. I don't know if it's built into the shock, but I don't see anything, any wires or any ride height sensors or anything. So I'll take, I'll trust them that it works. Back of the hitch. Single chrome tip exhaust, 
and then it has the uh, dual plug, four pin and seven pin. It even comes with a fancy hitch cover. Pretty good size front brakes. Rear brakes are pretty small. Aluminum knuckles, aluminum control arms. There's one of the 80th anniversary badges. That's right off on the door behind the Grand Cherokee. Just got that replaced at the dealer. All right, we'll do one more quick little walk around. This is the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee 80th anniversary. This one's equipped with the 80th anniversary luxury group. That has the panoramic roof up there, heated rear seats, vented front seats, and a couple other little things. But beautiful Jeep, love it so far. I ordered uh, some stuff from the Chemical Guys, which is a detailing company, chemicalguys.com. I got the clay bar kit to clean up the paint good because who knows how long it was sitting out at the uh, factory on a trailer at the dealer so we'll get all any contaminants off and then i'm going to do a ceramic coating gel so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe